Ikaw wala ang laundry? Dami ka Sabay mo na Ikaw Tara labas mo na dito Ikaw Josh Branding ko Tara pa laundry ta Alright since we're back uh, Everything goes back to normal uh, We have to face the responsibilities Na naiwan namin for one whole week Pero nakakapanibago nga kasi For one whole week na dun kami May beach marami kami pwedeng gawin And now it's time to face everything And uh, I have to talk to them again para marinyo sila and to make them ready mentally once we start training again because yung mga susunod na training episodes natin will be a little bit harder for them uh, we'll wake up earlier so it's gonna be more challenging but for now, mag-laundry muna kami and papakar wash namin yung van sobrang dumi ng van and uh, yeah, this is just gonna be a rest day for us Alright, so we're here and Papa car wash muna namin si Grandi. Ah, done with the car wash and laundry and something that I really don't do. But sometimes you really have to learn to really mo and uh, yeah, I'm happy na go ako yun. And uh, guys, I just want to talk about something. Kasi may nag-message sa akin, very long message pero summarize ko na lang. And uh, marami nagbe-message sa akin about about this asking for my advice. So, uh naisip ko sagutin through a video. So guys, ang ang tanong lagi is ganito. Coach Mav, my parents are against my dreams. They don't support my dreams. Ayaw nila ginagawa ko. Uh, meron sila ibang gusto for me. What should I do? Should I continue doing what I love? Or makinig ako sa kanila? Guys, ganito lang kasimple yan. Most of the time, we obey our parents because we want to save the relationship that we have right now. And uh, while doing that, we sacrifice the thing that we love the most for the relationship that we have. Of course, it's common na talaga it's family first. Pero it's also a must that you have to understand na you have to learn to sacrifice the relationship that you have right now if talaga hindi ka nila maintindihan kung kaya mo yung dahanan it's gonna be really painful for you for the long term relationship that you will have in the future so paano mangyari yun? if you are trying to do something you don't love darating at darating ka dun sa limitation mo sa peak na limitation mo wherein you're gonna be unhappy and babalikan mo yung day na meron ka pang chance na gawin yung mga gusto mo and then sabihin mo sa parents mo Ma, pa, ginawa ko naman yung gusto nyo, hindi talaga ako masaya, gusto ko talaga gawin yung gusto ko gawin Or, worse, paano kung wala ka talagang lakas na loob sabihin yun, you're just gonna live the life na you're not really happy about So, for me, you're just trying to save the relationship that you have right now Pero ang magsasuffer is the relationship that you will have in the future Kasi babalik at babalik at dun sa isang bagay na gusto mo so, if you're gonna pursue your dreams and they will be against you, or your friends will be against you, or the people around you will be against you, once you reach success, once meron ka na napapatunayan, once you get what you want unti-unti, at pinaninindiga mo talaga and you're really working hard for it, there's gonna be one day, unti-unti, they will understand you, you'll get their support, and then, Yes, for how many years? For a few years, three, four, five years, hindi kayo nakakaintindihan. Pero once you start to become successful, it's impossible na hindi ka nila maintindihan. It's impossible na hindi ka nila pagkatiwalaan. That's a very impossible. So, what I'm trying to tell you is that don't obey your parents just because you want to save the relationship. Guys, you are going to live for 80 to 90 years. If you're just trying to save the three to four to five years na meron kayo ngayon, what's gonna happen for the next 50 years so it's all about you being happy if you're happy most probably they're gonna be happy for you if they see success that you are achieving most probably they're gonna be happy for you pero you don't sacrifice the thing that you love because that something will actually help the relationship between you and your parents you and your friends to make it longer in the long term run so for me ganun kasi nangyari sa akin uh, for how many years, hindi, wala naman nakaintindi sa akin, totally. 
So, ah, uh, daming sabi, huwag mo gawin yung gusto mo kasi uh, yung gusto mo will not support you financially pagtagal, will not support your future family and hindi yan makakabuhay ng pamilya. So, lots of things. Pero, I stayed true to myself and uh, hindi ko pwede lukoyin sarili ko. I really have to do what I love kasi buhay ko to. If you don't support me for now, it's okay. But I'm gonna do what I love. One day you will understand me and dumating na araw na yun sa part ko. So guys, if you're in that stage, you have to really fight for what you want. It's gonna be really painful for you. No one will really understand you. Pero kung ganun ka kadesidido, you will get what you want one day. Not only what you want, but you will save the relationship that you have between you and your family, you and your friends, and you can be happier. Uh, everyone around you will be happy for you. So, guys, that's gonna be my answer. And um, always, 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 always do what you love because you only have one life. Don't try to impress someone by doing what they want you to do. You always try to do what you really love to do in your life. There's one big dilemma that I'm facing right now. Remember, I, I worked out for, for almost one month. Tapos, pagdating dun, nagkasakit ako. It really drained everything. Sobrang na dehydrate ako. And right now, parang lahat na pinigirapan ko, parang nawala. So, I have to work again. I have to work out again. And I have to be able to get back in shape. It's gonna be really hard. Sayang, nakakahinayang kasi. Siyempre, nag-workout ka, tapos nagkasakit ka, tapos nawala. And uh, the challenge is how we're gonna bounce back. Which is very, very hard. So, uh, for some of you in a ganon ding situation, just fight it, fight it back. Just keep on working. You'll get it. Say na tayo let. Tito na ako. Tito na ikita madilim. Ice na. Have you pa? Hi. Hi. Hey Josh. Oh, shit. Never you. Party boys. I guess the great part about being just your party boys. Dogs, though. Alright, so I'm going to get it. And, what's the reason ko bakit for 31 straight days? We have daily vlogs. So, Bogs. What's up? Imagine nasa baler kami, maglalaro kami. After ng game, mag-edit pa siya hanggang madaling araw. Tapos i-upload, tapos maglalaro. And uh, kahit nandun kami, ginagawa pa rin yung, 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 yung sinabi niya sa akin, responsibility niya. And kaya tayo may daily vlog. It's really because of him. Nice one, Bogs! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> tapos si Christian, kapag nasa baler kami, yun, wala. Tulog, laro, tapos matutulog, tapos napaw. Wala na. <laughs> Hindi mo na siya masahan sa kahit anong bagay. Yan na. Diba? Ball is live. Jonathan, ikaw ba? Kamusta yung baler natin? Masaya. Bitin. Gusto mo bumalik? Balik tayo bukas? Sige. <laughs>
obviously hindi naman kami bumalik ng baler uh, pinakita ko lang yung clips pero namimiss ko talaga mag baler next time baka pang nagyayan ulit kami nito ni Christian <laughs> malamang yung mga biglaan na ganun matuloy na talaga pero yan, nandito kami and uh, yan sila Mark uh, waiting for us <sighs> Galing. Sa baler? Oo. Tamag. Siya. Bakit ka ako na uwi? Wala ka, Ano, Mark? Sino yun? Sino yun? Ano yan? Ha? Yabong naman nun. Pati nga ng katawan mo. Dito, dito, dito. Grabe naman yung improvement nun. <laughs> Say yung one week kayo, tuloy-tuloy ako eh. Batang-batang ka. Batang 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 ka. So dahil Valentine's Day tomorrow, hindi muna kami magtitinda ng pares. Mukhang may kadate si kay Jess. Kay Jess, easy ka lang ha. Baka pagbalik mo dito, may panganay ka na. Okay, uwi mo. Kuya, sa pogi mo diyan. Ganyan, ka yeah, ganyan ka na may pagdate. Eh, tawag din sa akin. Bye. Hi guys, si Rene pala to. Pinuntahan ko si Coach Babs ng kwarto niya kasi sabi niya magsasurfing kami ngayong umaga. Excited ako. Pero pagpunta ko doon, nilalagnat pala si Coach Mo. Pati si Coach Jello, nilalagnat din. Yung iba, tulog pa. Yung iba, naglalaban sa baba. So, may mga remaining games pa. Tignan natin kung ano mangyayari. So, hindi ito yung surfing. Malas ko. Yun yung, yun yung vlog na second day namin ng game sa Baler. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, anong vlog na Bogs? Vlog. Vlog. Uh, vlog 86 ata to or 85. Basta, ito yung second day namin sa Baler. <laughs> Tapos, kasi nga, sobrang nilalagnat ako nun. Tapos sabi ko, Kiri, na ikaw na muna bahala, ikaw na muna mag-vlog habang natutulog ako. Tapos, nakita ko yun, sobrang... <laughs> ano masayang mo, Chan? Ako o si Rene, yung mag-vlog? Rene. Rene si, si Rene lang lang, no? No, Josh? Si Kuya Rene na lang, Coach. <laughs> Ikaw mo yun yung sa baba ako, sino mas gusto nyo ako? Si Rene na lang, or ako yung mag-vlog? Pero tingin ko si Rene na lang eh. May sense of humor, no, Bob? Si Rene ang pipiliin nyo, sigurado. <laughs> Pastig. Hi, guys. Si Rene pala to. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, guys, kung napapanood nyo to, malamang napanood nyo na yung vlog na yun. Tapos ngayon palang ini-edit ni Boga kasi nga one week delay kami, pero... <laughs> ne, ikaw na lang mag-vlog ha, ikaw na lang mag-vlog. <laughs> Shots. Ano? Ano po? Ano siya na? Ako. Oh, Sige, hey, pag-tripang mo pa ron. Sabi ko, tinapakan yung pao. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko yung mabro. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> 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 Ito muna, bahala kayo kayo Boga, wala siya katiti. Ingat-ingat ka ha. Ito ha, dahan-dahan na ko to eh. Ano, wala akong alam sa sinasabi mo. Dahan-dahan na ko to eh. Ingat ka ha. Okay, gotcha pat. It's work. Okay. Chan. Ingat ka. Paalam. Sumulat ka. Wala. Pos. Ingat-ingat. Papili pos mo ha. Dito tayo. Coach. Sa isang araw ha. Opo. Coach, saan tayo na mag-ikot? Valley One, tapos kaliwa ng Sukat. Tapos, service road. Pabalik dyan sa Bigutan. Ikutin lang natin. Saan? Dito, dito sa kanto. 
Ayun yung nagpaparis Hi guys, kakauwi lang namin and uh, naganap ako ng pwesto ng Paris ko. It's already 12 midnight. So, this is not the usual time that we have to work. This is not the usual time that we have to achieve our dreams. This is not the usual. This is not right. This is something wrong. Based on what other people will tell me. Kung ibibase ko sa mga standards, sa rules, sa guidelines, sa limitations nila, everything that I did was wrong. But again guys, if you're trying to achieve something, you cannot base or depend your actions based on their limitations, based on their uh, guidelines, their rules, uh, their standards of living. Because they are not You can never compare yourself to them and just follow their footsteps and uh, assuming that if you follow their guidelines, sila, you will really get what you want. Because we have our own paths, we have our own ways of achieving what we want and what I'm trying to tell is that do it your way. But guys, you, you have to be able to open the door for the opportunity that's knocking regardless of the time. Some opportunities knock at 1am, 2am, 3am, 4am, 12 midnight, 11pm, 10pm. And those are the unusual hours of, for us to work. Pero kung susundin mo yung guidelines na yun, susundin mo yung rules na yun, you will actually miss lots of opportunities. What I'm trying to tell you is that kung talaga may gusto kong achieve, there will be no rules, there will be no standards, there will be no limitations. You have to be able to answer the call, you have to be able to open the door, you have to be able to face the challenges that the opportunity offers you every single day. So guys, Meron akong gusto makuha and at 11 p.m. ako umalis ng bahay. Lagpas na, 12 midnight, ako naka -uwi. And uh, that is something unusual, pero it's something that I don't care about. Something na wala akong pakikaw na isipin na ibang tao. They may look at me as someone who's really into working too much. Pero it, for me, it's not work because I love what I'm doing. It's something that I really know that I have to do para ma-achieve yung gusto ko. So, for me, time is very crucial sa journey mo time is very crucial not actually the time you haba the time literal 1 a.m 2 a.m 3 a.m 4 a.m 5 a.m 6 a.m the 24 hours that we have kasi madalas there are only times that are allotted for work and kapag lumagpas ka doon people will look at you as someone who's crazy someone who's weird someone who doesn't belong someone who will never fit in if you really want to achieve something you are in a dimension where you and your dreams only exist and all of their thoughts everything that they put you in and everything that they have don't matter so guys, this is Coach Mav and I should rest because it's a good day, but it's nice. My day is very productive and I'm going to see you again and I hope you take my advice. God bless you all and...